Good morning, you guys. Um, it's Monday morning. We had an awesome weekend. My stepdaughter turned 21 yesterday, so that was super fun. <laughs> um, but anyways, the week's off to a great start. I got this huge pile of spoon flower fabrics to share with you um, for a couple more Tina quilts this year. So Tina is my, if you've been following me for a while, you've probably heard her name many times and seen many unboxing videos of her fabrics. She's my all-time best client ever. She found me, um, God, how many years ago? Well over a decade ago. It must have been at least 15 years ago. And I made her this quilt for her 19th wedding anniversary. She wanted, like, we had 19 roses in it and the infinity symbol. It had all this awesome, um imagery going on and then she ended up having it framed and hung on her wall it was like one of my favorite projects of all time um, unfortunately she ended up getting a divorce after that so she gave it to her daughter um, but since then I've made her I made her um, this awesome patchwork quilt I made her um, a patchwork quilt for she had two friends male friends who were getting married and they were bears so I made them this like really funny patchwork quilt for their wedding that had all these like tongue-in-cheek funny fabrics and things that they loved like Wonder Woman and all kinds of stuff in it and I made a pillow with the bear flag on it which was definitely an awesome project um, I've also done um, custom Christmas stockings for her entire family. Um, I did when her daughter went off to fashion school. She was very into Paris and everything. So we did a quilt that was themed like that. Last year, I did a Valentine's Day quilt um, for a friend who was a personal trainer. So a lot of the fabrics had to do with like weightlifting and stuff. We did a naughty quilt for a friend of hers that had all kinds of like secret little um, fuzzy cuff fabrics and topless mermaids snuck in there. Um, I did two quilts for her grandkids and then, oh God, there's one other one. I can't remember. I'm forgetting one. Um, oh, I did the king size uh, Asian quilt that I just did for one of her friends who ironically turns out is married to a tattoo artist that I used to know 20 years ago. Um, when I worked in the tattoo industry for a while. So anyway, she's already got me loaded up with uh, three projects for very good friends of hers this year. So I'm really excited. These quilts are gonna be um, just really different and unique. And uh, wait till you see some of the fabrics she's got picked out. So this one's really cool. It's got all the horror movie type stuff going on. Um, it's got just lots of great colors. And that's Little Leaf, uh, designed by Little Leaf. The next one we have is designed by uh, Patricia Lehman and it's like super awesome. Look at these space cats, how fun are they? That's gonna be great. She got two, um, let's see here, the the horror print is called uh, Double Feature and the space cats are called Intergalactic Cats. So if you're looking for those, that's what you're gonna wanna search for. Um, we got some solids because one of her friends is a big West Ham um, soccer football fan. Um, so those are his team colors. This one I think is my favorite. It's really gorgeous. Um, it's by Make Haste Designs. And it is called Woodland Wonderland. It's really pretty. I love everything going on, the birds and the butterflies. That's like totally my jam. You can see I've already started labeling things with um, tape because I'm trying to keep make sure I got these all separate so we don't end up with horror fabric in the wedding quilt by accident. <laughs> So anyways, um, this one, these beautiful roses. Oh, I love it. It's got this like really delicate writing in there too. This reminds me of my grandmother's garden. It's vintage roses. And the designer is Andrea underscore Hace underscore designs. This one's really fun if you've got a motorcycle type guy in your life. It's got the cool old vintage bikes. It's called Motocross by Penny Royal. This I absolutely love. We had this um, in a pink colorway in her um, kind of naughty quilt that she did for a friend and it looked really wonderful in the quilt. Lots of movement and I love the dark green. That's my favorite color but this is um, designed by Wellington Bot and the title is Art Deco on Emerald. This one oh really cool. Really awesome, totally badass. If you're into traditional tattoo design, this is kind of like a classic imagery for tattoo design. And um, one of the one of the people who one of the quilts is for who's getting married is a tattoo artist. Um, somebody else that I knew, a mutual friend from a very long time ago. That's one of the reasons I love Tina so much. Is she's we always we've known each other so many years, but as a client, you know, and um, 
and uh, we've just become friends over time and then realized that we actually had quite a few friends in common that we didn't know. So this one's Vertical Hands in Red. The designer is Atomic Geisha. That's a cool designer name. I bet she's got some cool stuff in her shop. Um, here's another cool like classic tattoo design by Kaha C-A-J-A -A underscore design. It's just the classic sparrows, the swallows. It's called Swallow to Smaller. So you can, if it's, this is the thing with Spoonflower, a lot of times you can order the prints in smaller and larger sizes, which is really awesome. Like if you're going to make an apron, you might want like a big print, but if you're going to make a patchwork quilt that has smaller cuts, you're definitely going to want a smaller print um, so that it shows, you know, in the quilt. So anytime you see one on there that says like smaller, larger, that you should, you can go look and most likely you can adjust the size of the print. I'm not sure if every designer offers that, but I've definitely ha run into it quite a few times. So um, Spoonflower is really great. You can also upload your own designs and do it that way. Here is another one of the tattoo designs. This is Old School Tattoo uh, by, oh goodness, uh, Crixtina, C-R-I-X-T-I-N-A. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alexander Henry has some ones that look like this too that I really like. All the cool old portraits are always fun. Um, and you could make like cool baby bibs out of those or doggy bandanas. They look really good. This one's funky and fun. It's kind of, it's like a sacred heart. It's actually um, the Three of Swords from the tarot deck. Uh, so it's Three of Swords on Black by Spookish Delight. I like that name too. That's cool. Some of these designer names really just make me want to go check out what they've got just based on the name of their, their title or whatever. Um, this is Black and White Repeat uh, by Susie print uh you know it's just good like vans like one of her um friends is a musician so we're doing a quilt for a wedding for a tattoo artist so that's gonna have a lot of these tattooy designs in it and then i'm gonna do an applique rose in the center which is gonna be badass the other quilt um he travels the world he's a musician he's living in spain right now tina's got some really awesome friends um so his quilt has all kinds of funky fun stuff um like these um these tapes i think i believe he's a dj you know like i don't know anybody that cool um 80s cassette remix by quirky underscore fun underscore designs quirky fun designs i would definitely count that as quirky and fun um and then i think the other friend that she's having a quote made for she's like very into like spirituality and stuff so wait till you see her prints they're just totally wild i love them uh, this is a mid-century modern floral by Roof Dog Designs. Very cool, very funky. It reminds me of, um, it reminds me of like dandelions, you know, when you're getting ready to blow them. That one's neat. This one is kind of like stylized records. It's for the DJ's quilt. Uh, retro vinyl 50s music by Miss Chiff. C-H-I-F-F designs. It's cool. I'm going to have to be a little tricky with how I work this one in because as you can see, the print is like really intense. So sometimes when you have some like bright striking colors like this in a quilt, it's hard to pull your eye away from it. So this one's one I'm going to take time and make sure that I've got some good balance in the quilt. Um, so it's not just drawing your eye to that bright orange circle. Your eye can move around. <laughs> Wait till you see this. This is called Alien Go Abduct Yourself by Maria Faith Garcia. All one word together. How funny is that? <laughs> <laughs> that's a fuck you alien i love that that's the thing about spoon flower my complaints about spoon flower is the fabric is not as soft it's kind of got a rougher feel um you can very often smell the the printing inks in them they do recommend washing them before you use them so you gotta trim and iron and stuff like that if you're gonna wash them um and um the other thing is they are a little bit more expensive but you can get fabric there that you can't get anywhere else. I mean, you can get like Ruth Bader Ginsburg fabric. You can get fuck you fabric. You can get anything. The sky's the limit. There's nothing that I have looked for in there that I have not been able to find. So if you're, you know, Tina really loves that site because she wants all of her quilts that she gives as gifts to just really represent the person's personality and be unique. Um, or sometimes they have like little tongue in cheek jokes that are like, you know, jokes in their friendship. And um, it, when she can sit down there, pour herself a glass of wine and click, click, click and order all the different, you know, funky little things that represent her friends. And then she del gets them delivered right to my door. And the crazy thing is this time she accidentally entered my address wrong. And we were like, oh shit, we're watching all the tracking and it's getting sent back to Georgia, which is, I'm pretty sure that's where they're based, um, at least in the United States. And uh, she called them on a Monday morning and they apologized for her screwing up the address and then immediately resent out a new order, recut, reprinted, brand new fabric, because the other one hadn't gotten back to them yet, and shipped it right to me and I had it like in two days. 
So we screwed up on our side. They apologized, fixed it, and paid for it. So I was really, really impressed with their customer service. So sometimes when you're paying a little extra, you know, it's definitely worth it, especially for a high-end client like Tina that really knows what she wants um, and is spending a good bit of money um, on their website. I think they took awesome care of her, so I definitely wanted to let you guys know that. These are cool little retro flowers, repeat, by Mariano kind of like funky in the 70s. This would make a, a great apron. I love that for apron fabric. This one, I know a lot of people will be a fan of this, especially my girlfriend Margie, who is absolutely crazy for Elvis. I like how it's small too, because it's like from far away, you don't know, and then you get up close, you're like, oh, that's so cool. Like all the little tiny stars and music notes. It's called Hound Dog Retro by Blue Velvet. Her, the designer's name is Blue Velvet, which makes me think they may have some other Elvis prints in their shop. I really like this one. It's funky and weird, and I just like how it looks kind of sketchy um, and soft. It's called I Spy by House. Well, it says House underscore designer, so I don't know if that means a Spoonflower House designer or that's just what someone chose. But either way, I love the way the, you know, the creamy, like, pinky salmon color just pops with that green. This one, I think, may be one of my favorites. This is probably got two left, and I think we saved the best for last. Um, this is Fortune Teller by Tamara underscore Lance. Look how cool it is. I love how it's, like, stylized. There's so many, like, patterns and colors and little things hidden in there. It's so great. Um, this one goes with that, that same quilt, and um, it's got these really cool moths on it. It's called Bohemian Lunar Moth by Little Blackbird Designs. Very pretty. One thing I had noticed in the past, sometimes when you order these dark blues from Spoonflower and you get them, they look kind of washed out. But this one looks really nice and sharp. And I love the way it pops with the yellow. And if you look up close, it's got, you know, cool little details in there that are going to look really great with our kind of like spirituality quilt. Um, so anyways, this is the full load and this weighs a ton. Um, so I'm really excited about these. The first one's going to be due in June and then I'm going to be working on them throughout the year. Um, on the table today is the, um, the beginning of the t-shirt, the basic t-shirt quilt that I'm making for my neighbor's daughter. Um, it's going to be a really great fun project, super easy beginner project. If you've ever considered making a t-shirt quilt or any kind of, um, blanket or, uh, throw out of, um, Jersey material, it's definitely a great skill to have and makes a really fun project. So if you're interested, check that one out. Aside from that, I had a good show this uh, two weeks ago at the Brewfest. It was really fun. Um, it was a little slow crowd-wise, but they always are right after Christmas. But I made so many awesome friends. The one thing I like about those slow shows is it's the best time to walk around and get to know other vendors. Um, and I met this really great girl, her name's June, which I love because my birthday's in June. And I always said if I had another daughter, I'd name her June. But she sells coffee and tea. So it's Here's Your Tea. It's VCR, Virginia Commonwealth Roasters. So they do coffee and tea. And she saw my Elsa apron and really wanted it for her daughter. So we made a trade, which was awesome because I love coffee and tea. Um, so I was really excited about that. And then my other girlfriend from Sweet Heat Candles, who I made the work apron for. And no, I haven't made the work apron video yet. I've been getting really busy trying to move into the new house with the new studio and everything. Um, so it's taken me a little bit of time. But anyways, her company is called Sweet Heat Candles. These are the best candles. She traded me. I mean, I'm like... My whole room smells like these candles. She traded me two of them for my work apron, which I was really excited about. Shannon makes the best candles I've ever, ever purchased in my entire life. They last for so long. They sell so strong and good without that like stinky perfumey. Um, she does, I don't know if she sells online, but it's Sweet Heat Candles at Gmail. Um, so you can check her out like that if you're local in Fredericksburg and you ever make it to a brew fest. Her booth is easy to find because she does a really cool thing where she takes recycled wine bottles and liquor bottles and she chops the top off and then she makes candles out of them and they sell real good at the uh, at the brew fest. Um, one of the things I love about her, you know, is just that she is uh, a small business owned by a woman of color. You know, she's kicking ass and taking names. She's always fun and bubbly and um, she's just been a really fun person to work with at the brew fest over the years. So I always want to just promote and support her business um, and and you know I really like to think that we've formed a friendship over time oh my god oh it's like peaches and cream oatmeal that was my favorite when I was a kid 
Aside from these two ladies, um, I've got this really great friend named Jeff who does the jerky hut. And he does all these crazy, he's like salmon jerky and like really spicy hot stuff. And he's so cool. And we got to talking and it turns out he works all these tattoo conventions and sells his jerky at all these tattoo conventions. So he knows a bunch of tattoo artists that I know. Another awesome person that I've met working these shows is my friend Rita. Her company is always flavored. Um, she makes all these spicy sauces and stuff that we love and, and you know, seasoning dips and things like that. Um, but one thing I really love about her is she also has a marketing company called Always Making It Happen. And she's really big about promoting female business and helping women, you know, who feel like they want to have a career change, you know, in the middle of their life. Like she really supports all of that and she's just such an awesome person that I've come to be friends with. Aside from Rita, we've, the guys at KO Distillery are always feeding me shots in my booth, <laughs> which I love them so much. And uh, they have an incredible tasting room up in the Manassas area. If you're down in the Summer Duck area, you have to stop by Rogers Ford Winery. When I'm not drinking whiskey at these shows, I do love a glass of wine and they always take great care of me. Um, I have to say that I'm really lucky to live in an area with such a great um, venue. The guy, Jeremy, that runs it, he's so nice and so awesome. I always recommend people to his shows. You know, anytime you find a regular show that has someone who really gives a shit about their vendors, it's definitely a win-win. You know, he wants to make money, but he wants the people there to make money too. And there's been times where like I've showed up and it's a windy day and I forgot my sandbags and he sends a guy over and nails my tent down for me, you know, like all different kinds, like always there to help, always looking out, you know, it makes me feel really, especially when being a woman, being there by myself, you know, sometimes I do need a little extra help. Um, even if it's just somebody to keep an eye out on my booth while I go to the bathroom. And I know anytime I work one of the Fredericksburg Brewfest events that he's totally got my back. Um, if you're, you know, you're not a vendor and you're interested in going and hanging out, they're super fun. They're really fun. It's always a blast. It's always a good vibe. Um, rarely ever any drama and they're, you know, even the cops that work the shows are really freaking cool. If there's ever a problem and someone's drunk, you know, like they handle it, take care of it swift and easy. And I've just had a blast working those shows over the years. And I really just wanted to give a shout out to all my awesome friends that work that show. And, uh, I won't be back until... April. I'm taking this month off to move into the new house. It's just about ready. So I'm very, very excited for the new sewing studio. Um, and that's why my videos have been a little fewer and further between because we're getting ready for that. Um, but once we get into the new studio space, we're going to hit the ground running and it's just going to be an awesome summer of sewing. So thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. Um, come back soon, as soon as I can get another video for you. <laughs> And if you haven't, just go through all my old videos. It's almost garden season. Um, so that's the other thing I'm doing. I got all the seeds in. We're going to start planting the seedlings this week. So you might see a few garden videos popping in and here, here and there. You know, YouTube always says, nail down your niche, nail down your niche, pick one thing and do one thing. But I mean, these are two things I'm really passionate about. And a lot of people I know who sew also do gardening on the side. So there will be a couple of those mixed in here coming up, um, especially since we're going to be starting a new garden, which I'm also really excited about. So anyways, it's beautiful here, you guys. It's almost kind of feeling like spring. I hope it's wonderful where you are too. Take care. Have an awesome week, and I hope to see you soon.